Hi everyone, we're here. Um, just getting ourselves ready to do this live. We've got out a high and Williams here. And Mali Rima. Mali, say hi. Just cleaning it. Oh my goodness. This day's really mean. <laughs> okay, we're going to have our prayer. Amen. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Hi. Uh, now we're going to try and focus today. Um, when I got my my Mali over here, it can be a little bit distracting, but um, hopefully he behaves. We'll go on to our lesson, but before we do that, just wondering how you're doing. Um, how well, it's freezing cold here, eh, Alice? It's, it's freezing yeah, cold maybe. here. Um, but that's why we're inside today. It's just too cold outside, and you can, I don't know if you can see up there. Mm. It's, it's freezing. And they've got their jackets on inside, <laughs> and it's still cold. It's cold in the house. So we have the aircon on, and if any time you can't hear us, then just let us know, okay? So um, our lesson today is really interesting. We've been talking about it um, for about an hour now, and we're quite excited to share it. And a few key words that we have for today's lesson would be what? Signs, Signs. <laughs> yeah. Signs. miracles, Signs. faith, yeah. what else? Mm. Uh, wrath, yeah. that comes into it as well. So we're excited to share this message. Um, I think we'll start off with this is our lesson. Um, the topic is some signs come by faith and the will of God. A eh? We did talk about that. We'll get through the lesson and we'll pause and, and, and explain things as we go along. So we'll go to our Come Follow Me manuals if you're studying along with us. I'll read from the intro <coughs> of the lesson and then we'll go straight into the scriptures they others and we'll share a few experiences after that too. Okay, so here we go. Signs come by faith and the will of God. Signs or miracles alone do not produce lasting faith. I like that, that phrase there. Um, early in 1831, Ezra Booth, oh, this is a little something about him, a Methodist minister in Kirtland decided to be baptised after he saw Joseph Smith miraculously heal the arm of Booth's friend, Elsa Johnson. I think there's, there's some kind of info about that story. We don't have it here. But, um, yeah, I guess Ezra saw something, uh, a miracle happen, and because of it, his faith increased and he just wanted to join the church, right? He was a Methodist minister before. Um, so he became baptised. All right. Let's see what the lesson teaches us about him. And yet, within just a few months, uh, Booth lost his faith and became critical of the prophet and I think that can happen to us too sometimes, eh? Lose our faith a bit. So maybe perhaps if when we're going through this, studying this lesson, that we liken ourselves to perhaps some um, experiences that we've had about losing faith, you know, and how do we gain it back and, and yeah. Anyway, we'll find out more as we go along. Uh, how, could this, how could this be? Considering the miracle he had witnessed... Ponder this as you read DNC 63 verses 7 to 12, which is what we're going to read very shortly. Um, you might also consider why some people receive signs for the good of men unto God's glory, and others receive them unto condemnation. Based on what you've read, how do you think the Lord wants you to think and feel about signs? We had a wonderful discussion about this, eh, others? So... 
you hear a bit about um, our thoughts and our insights as, as we get into the reading, okay? Uh, so you, I think it was you, Ada, when we talked about, uh, based on what you've read, how do you think the Lord wants you to feel and uh, think and feel about signs? You said something about that. Yeah. Um, if I go and do your thing. <laughs> uh, it's uh, like think... asking us, how do you think, oh, what, what is it? Uh, how do you think the Lord wants you to think and feel about signs? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, so I think that the Lord is, is um, probably with the signs, it's trying to tell us that there's other ways that you can communicate with us. Like, yeah, we have things um, such as praying, uh, things like that, but there's also just other times when he wants to just show you the signs. And what's, I guess, special about signs as well is that sometimes those signs are literally just meant for you. Um, someone might look at it and be like, oh, that's not a sign. But to you, yeah, yeah. You, it's because it means something to you. And it's yeah. Heavenly Father's way of talking to you because all of us are different and, and we receive we signs and, and feelings in different ways. But um, our Heavenly Father understands and knows how we would receive it and be able to understand that's the sign that you So he's actually communicating to us eh, as we see these signs. And I think only the person that sees them will understand what they're about. And it comes according to your faith and according to the desires of your heart to see. And and, and, yeah, okay. All right, Ada, I think you're going to start reading first, Ada Hein. Let's go to our scriptures. Is that okay? So we're going to start at verse 7. All right. Where are we? Here we go. All right, Reuben, you're ready. Hey, move this out of the way and try the torch. And he that seeketh signs shall see signs, but not unto salvation. What? That's, that's a good one, eh? Yeah. You can talk about, you know, if, if that's a verse that you like, you can pause yeah, and talk well, about it. Yeah, bear with me. Um, I... Um, got a little bit of a sore throat, so I'm planning how to talk. But, um, I really like this verse because um, it's telling us that people are seeking signs, but Mama. not seeking salvation. They want to see a sign and have it um, be proved that they're right. Um, like, they want to ask Heavenly Father, I want a sign, I want to find a sign, see a sign to know that this is true, or to know the, whether I should do this, or like join the church. But I think that as we have faith and we pray, then Heavenly Father will show us the things that is for our salvation instead of just signs for us to prove that the right we're right um a lot of the time we um want to want to find out if what how things happen or why they happen but that's why faith is so important because you're relying on what you already know and what heavenly father has told you yes that's, happens by faith eh yeah Okay. Wanna read another verse? Yep. Verily I say unto you, there are those among you who seek signs and there have been such even from the beginning. Hmm. Anything you want to say about that? No? Uh okay. No? No. Okay. All right, I like that it said there that there are some among you that are seeking. Because there are some people who are not seeking, you know, have no desire to, to look for signs. They, or they, they kind of like dictate life, you know, themselves. And they're not looking for signs at all. There are those people, but he's talking about people who are actually looking for them, eh? Um, so he's going to tell us how to get them, I guess. Yeah? Carry on reading, please, Ada. Uh, me? Yes. Uh, that was verse 9. 
But behold, faith cometh not by signs, for signs follow those that believe. Oh, oh I like that one. <laughs> yeah, I think in that one to me, what the saying is that uh, the signs that are there, you won't be able to see it um, if you don't believe. You can want signs, but if you don't believe that it's going to come, then it might not ever come at all. Yeah. Signs follow those that believe. Yeah. They, they come after something then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, so the next verse is... Shh. So, yeah, yeah, signs come by faith, not by the will of men, nor as they please, but by the will of God. Another powerful one. Uh, and that one just states there that um, these signs are not from us, but rather they're from God. And God willing, when He's ready to give you the sign, He will give it to you. It's not, okay, tell me when you want it, I'll give it to you. And then you have to wait. Uh, I I know when it's best for you. And mm. It can be a struggle sometimes because um, it can be a long time to receive that sign. That's all part of the process and, and the faith um, that you have to have. So what happens when you lose a bit of faith then? I Along think, the way, waiting uh, for the sign. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's part of the part of the it's trial part and, of it. And, and testing you and your faith as well. So it's normal to lose faith? Yes, it's definitely normal to lose faith. And um, even us as believers, uh, I'm sure there are times when you start to question things. Like for instances, um, when, when families pass away, have families that have been good people have done nothing wrong really but bad things have happened to them and, and you wonder like why have those things happened um, but there's all a process to it and there's a, a purpose to mm, it absolutely and it's just there to help us out with, with yeah. our faith. so um Alda, hi while we were doing some talking you did mention a few things you should do consider doing or you know even count the little things you can do um when you lose faith yeah yeah so the, a lot of people um well, like me especially um will um, need reassurance sometimes you get um given signs you get told things from heavenly father and then after a little while you start to um, start to doubt or start to be pulled down by the world and just by everything in general and feel um, feel uh, put down and feel like not moving on sort of yeah. thing but um, having faith doesn't have to be you don't have to do these big huge things it can be as simple as just saying a prayer and that's showing faith um, you know it's letting um, God take the wheel um, and just saying a prayer is the very start. Is when we say a prayer, we have to be willing to do what Heavenly Father will tell us from that prayer. So when we pray, He will give us the reassurance we need, and He will give it to us, knowing that when He does, that we're going to do what He says, because we want to find happiness or yeah. we want to believe that um, Heavenly Father can bless us. So like we're struggling with family um, or struggling to find somewhere to stay. Um, you're desperate. So when you pray Heavenly Father will bless you because in that point in time, you'll do whatever you can and whatever Heavenly Father tells you to do because you really need it. I think we need to show that faith more often. Yeah. Just doing what Heavenly Father wants us to do. Yeah, like go in blank. Like don't even think to know anything. Yeah. Just like let him prevail. <laughs> <laughs> let God prevail, eh? Let him take the reins. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can trust him. Sometimes we can't trust ourselves or other people, but we can always trust him. Yeah. So just let go 
and, and you're right, sometimes we do focus on those things that are, uh, especially in desperate situations, our fear comes into it and we, mm-hmm. and we think, well, what am I going to do? What can I do? You know what? You just said it, say a simple prayer, your answer will come to you. And the funny thing is that sometimes we think that is the last solution. It, it should be our first, you know? Like even if my phones, I had a man here fixing my phones, you know, and those phones have been damaged for a long time. Why did I leave it so long? Because I rely on my own understanding. <laughs> you know, just trust the Lord. Say a prayer about it if you don't know what to do. As simple as that. Okay, let's go to the next verses. Uh, hang on, which ones are we? Ten, yeah, you sing uh, 11? 11. All right, so verse 11. Here we go, just focus. Yea, signs come by faith unto mighty works. For without faith no man pleaseth God. And with whom God is angry, he is not well pleased. Wherefore, unto such he showeth no signs, only in wrath unto their condemnation. Uh, So there's a few messages in here. Without faith, no man pleaseth God. So he's not pleased when when we have no faith or we're not trying to exercise it, eh? Or, you know, what is faith? Faith is turning to him. Um, Yeah. So what does he say about that? You receive no signs, only wrath. (laughs) So if you've seen a bit of wrath in your life, I think it might pay to act in faith, you know, in the little ways, uh, to draw closer to him again. Because I, I guess you, you figure it out too, eh? The more wrath that comes, it's like you're, you're, you're losing your way. Yeah. You're moving further and further away from him. Sometimes you don't notice it, and then you hit rock bottom and you're like, wow, I'm really <laughs> far away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came this far to all notice. Way back, all the way back. <laughs> yeah, but that's the sweet thing about it. You can find your way back. Yeah. There is a plan. There is a way. It doesn't matter how far you've come. Yeah. Um, he is always willing and ready, you know, um, on conditions of repentance, of course, hey. But it doesn't have to be that hard. It is as simple as saying a prayer. I think it's just like the most simple thing you can do on your own. In your own timing, just to be closer to me. All right, uh, whose turn is that? Yours? Out of home? Yes. All right. Twelve. Twelve. Nevertheless, I give commandments, and many have turned away from my commandments, and I have not kept them. Oh, (laughs) twelve. I'm blind. Therefore, (laughs) I, the Lord, am not pleased with those among you who have sought after these signs and wonders of faith, faith, and not for the good of men unto my glory. So people are looking for signs so they can um, have faith instead of having faith first. They want to have faith afterwards. Oh, if you yeah. show me a sign, then I'll have faith. If I see an angel, or if you do, a, if you raise someone from the dead, then I'll join, and I'll... Um, and I'll have salvation or do what I need to do instead of doing it beforehand. Show me a miracle. Show me a sign first. <laughs> you know. Um, no, the miracle or well, the, the, the sign comes after. Yeah. Mm. All right. Out of Williams. No, is it out of Williams' turn or is it mine? It's probably mine. Okay. So what is this lesson teaching us today? I think it's just teaching us to be aware of the signs and to have faith that it will come. And also, as we stated in the beginning of the the lesson, is that um, it's not there to strengthen your faith. Um, To strengthen your faith, that's on you. But this is just a sign to know that um, Heavenly Father has has heard your, your cry for help or just the just looking out for you and saying, here you go, here's something to, to boost you up for the week or to help out your family or just to help out you in general. Um, and just to keep that in mind. It just shows that 
um, being that we're part of his family and that he's our father, he's our loving family father, that he cares for us and um, he's mindful of, of each and every one of us. Even though it doesn't seem like that sometimes, but he's still uh, think, thinking about you just as your own parents would, would do the same. He will not forsake you, eh? Yeah. Um, if you turn to him. Yeah. Okay, uh, so it goes back to the topic of our lesson is signs come by faith and the will of God. So don't f- try and figure it out. In other words, eh? Don't try and figure out the signs. Let him give them to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and even the element of surprise when you do see them, it, it, it adds to the experience, you know. You don't want to be knowing something that you already know. Yeah. Um, Anyway, we'll go on to the next segment of our lesson. I've got a scripture here, and I hope I marked it. Ether 12, verse 12, and it teaches us a little something about faith. Ether, ether, ether. And then Ada Hine will share a little... Ex- no, you, Ada Williams. And then um, Ada Hine, you'll be sharing a quote. All right, this is my scripture, Ether 12, verse 12, and it says, For if there be no faith among the children of men, God can do no miracle among them. Wherefore, he showed not himself until after their faith. Beautiful, eh? So, um, where it says here, um, If there be no faith among the children of men, God can do no miracle among them. So, he will only show himself or uh, show us miracles only by our faith. You know, we have to believe. It's like it said in the other verse, signs come to those who believe after a trial of their faith. Um, and verse 18, it says, verse 18, And neither at any time hath any wrought miracle, miracles until after their faith. Wherefore they first believed in the Son of God. So first they believed in the Son of God, right? Um, all right. Uh, William's got an experience to share about yes. his faith. <laughs> um, so my experience was just on about um, schooling. So being that um, we're on uh, a mission, as, as missionaries, we dedicate two years of our lives to go out and teach people about Jesus Christ. And so before my mission, I was at um, Hawaii um, doing uni, and I had deferred from uni just to do the, the missionary work that I had intended to do. Um, and so lately, I've been thinking about going back to school, but I also just wasn't sure if it was the right path that I needed to take. And there's just been a few signs that have directed me to to tell me um, that I needed to get to school and try and prepare myself um, for life after my mission ends. And so one of those signs being that um, I I wasn't too sure um, how I was going to get back to school and I needed a a thing known as an endorsement or pretty much a recommendation to be able to go back to school. And um, sure enough, about a week later, We had a little meeting um, as missionaries and our mission leaders were talking about um, the importance of education and how it's important to to have um, something for us um, after the mission to carry us out through our lives and the next stages of our lives when we have families, um, have kids, and to be able to support them. And so that in itself, as small as it was, was a sign to me that what I'm doing um, is the right path. And I was able to get in contact with some people and be able to sort things out for me. Uh, So I just know that Heavenly Father has really been looking out for me. And um, I have been looking for signs and also not really. I've just been trying to, I'm I'm really just a go with the flow kind of guy. But I I also try to keep my eyes open and not miss the signs because that would probably be the worst thing if Heavenly Father is trying to show you signs but you're too busy looking everywhere else that you don't see it. Um, So that's just my little experience that I've had about his signs. Beautiful. Um, Yeah, 
But because you already believe, you mm. notice the sign. Yeah, yeah. Right? And you knew it was the sign that you were looking for, mm. right? And it has come at the a time when you needed it, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's just because you're acting in faith. You're doing things uh, as a believer in, mm. of Christ's day. You know, just doing the normal things um, that you just, you know, you let God prevail in your life mm. and he showed you the sign brilliant okay all right we'll turn to Anna Hine and he's going to tell us a little bit about this yeah. quote that helps us also gives us good counsel about it yeah. so I'm going to share a quote and then a little experience but um it's by uh Jeffrey Holland he said in moments of fear or, uh, or doubt or troubling times Hold the ground you've already won, even if that ground is limited. When those moments come and issues surface, the resolution of which is not immediately forthcoming, hold fast to what you already know and stand strong. Additional knowledge comes. The size of your faith, the degree of your knowledge is not the issue. It is the integrity you demonstrate towards the faith you do hold. And the truth you already know. Awesome. Um, I really um, love that quote because um, it's before I start my mission. So you know, as a missionary, I think the number one thing that stops missionaries from going on missions is um, well, L, or the guys at least is um, girls before the mission. Um, it's always a big distraction. But yeah, for me, I always wanted to serve a mission. It was something I grew up in the church wanting to do because I was taught in primary that you serve a mission. Um, and seeing the missionaries at my home all the time, I was always, you know, they're always awesome. Uh, we loved having them around. And so I always wanted to serve a mission. And that as I grew older, I lost that desire. And um, then I was, I was worried leaving on a mission that... If I served a mission, then um, I will, the, something would happen. Um, two years is a long time, and I didn't want to go on my mission and have something happen, and um, not things not work out with this girl. And so um, I decided that I didn't want to serve a mission. And then... Um, and then? Yeah, and then. <laughs> and then. Um, yeah, and then... Um, a lot of things <laughs> happened um, that I did not see coming. A lot of struggles happened, a lot of hard things. And then um, I was praying because I needed strength. I needed, um, I needed to, I needed reassurance. And I came across this quote. Um, it reminded me that um, if I was going to serve a mission, it was about having faith. Having faith that uh, when I left, um, everything was going to be okay and that the Lord would take care of me while I was here. Um, I said a prayer and the Heavenly Father um, said, or like confirmed that exact thing that I just have a mission that everything would be okay. And when I got home, um, my job, my, um, you know, my future. Um, everything was going to um, sort out and be fine. And so um, I really love where it says, hold the ground you, you've already won, even if it's limited. Sometimes we don't have a lot to go on. Um, and sometimes telling us that, oh, I just had this feeling, I just had this prompting that I should do it. And sometimes people think you're crazy. <laughs> but if we know it's from God, then we can never go mm. wrong. You know, and I know that like serving the mission um, is the right thing to do, and that if we have faith and do the things that the Lord asks us to do, then He's going to take care of us. <clears throat> and um, that's what I had to share in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful experience, eh? It's so cool. And the topic today has been signs come by faith in the will of God. So you absolutely knew it was from Him, right? It wasn't just some thought or just yeah. something from somewhere. 
and uh, but it, it came um, and you know the spirit confirms it by faith by faith and through faith and also for you too eh, Adam Hems, mm-hmm. your sign came only by faith yeah. and through faith and, mm-hmm. and only then do you know what you need to do next because mm-hmm. it, it's not just one thing it, it's constantly working towards yeah. and maintaining yeah. that faith exercising that faith because eh? mm-hmm. you can lose it at any time yeah yeah, it could just like, you know, lose faith. Uh, like even after um, this Ezra Booth guy, he lost his faith after seeing a, a great miracle. He lost his faith two months, a few months later, gone, doesn't believe anymore. And then starts playing up. And says, um, he starts turning against the prophet. I mean, yeah, keep building that faith. All right, just in closing. Um, should I share an experience? No, I think you guys did a great job sharing experiences. Um, oh man, I've got heaps though. You know, I've got heaps. Uh, this one, that, in this house that we're in right now is one of the miracles. Let me just quick look around. You're like, we didn't have this. Uh, how long have we been in the house? Yeah, about two months now. We didn't have this before the two months. We actually had zero, nothing. And there's a lot of people looking for a home too right now. And yeah, this is, it's just a miracle that happened that we got this house. <laughs> I think I need a whole hour to tell you about the whole journey through it. Um, but it only comes by faith and it is prayer. And I'll share it with a few people now, but it was sincere prayer. Only by sincere prayer, three o'clock in the morning, man, we were praying hard for this home, and it came. So you just keep working hard. The signs will come, not in your time, but the Lord's time, and of his choosing. It may not be the one thing that you wanted, but it, he will give us what he sees fit to give us. Uh, in closing, just like to be you our testimonies that we know that this church is true. We know that uh, God lives and he loves us and he is always mindful of us, especially in our affliction. If we turn to him first, we'll find the answers to the prayers that we are looking for. All the questions that we need to need answers for, he will, he will answer them in, in his timing. And um, I bear witness that if we stay busy, like Ada Williams, Staying busy every day, you know, serving his mission. Nana Hines, fulfilling his mission also. Then the Lord will bless us. He will, and our families, as best he can. And we say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 <laughs> Molly, would you like to say anything? Would you like to say hello? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cheeky. All right, we'll have our prayer. Yes. Uh, Williams, would you like to give our prayer, please? Thank you for joining us, everybody. And we'll see you later. Yeah. Father, it's most gracious Heavenly Father, we bow our hands before you this time and give you thanks for this day. We thank you for the opportunity we had to be with Sister Rima and to participate in her life and uh, to speak a little bit about. Uh, signs and, and faith, uh, how to develop our, our faith to be able to believe in us and to see these signs. Father, we ask thee to um, bless us, uh, that we may be able to be in tune. As well, um, to bless those that are viewing at this time, um, and whatever struggles that they're going through, that they may be taken care of and that they may be given strength and um, your spirit to help guide them in their lives and what they need to do. Father, we ask thee to bless Sister Rima and her family um, for the charity and love that they show towards us and that they uh, continue to receive the blessings that I store for them. We also ask thee, Father, a blessing of um, safety as we part ways that we may be able to go to our separate destinations in safety and be able to enjoy the rest of our, uh, our day and also to be able to uh, keep on And we pray for these things now. Our name is Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 All right. All right. We'll see you later. Bye.